when it's taken there. Amen. 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 You know, I often say that the assignment is without appreciation. Um, and that sounds good in preaching talk. But the reality is that preachers are human. Yes, sir. And every human yes, craves uh, some appreciation. Yeah. So thank y'all so much. I ain't gonna make me cry this morning. <laughs> and if I do, y'all understand why. I do it for you. Also, I want to just take time. Just, just thank y'all. Thank y'all. I, I see a lot of folk I ain't seen in a minute yet. Amen, 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 amen. Yeah, you picked a good day to come. Any visitors in the house? Oh, okay, great, 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 great. Thank you, Pastor. I'm going to put you on the spot and ask you what church and who your pastor is and all that. So, but we do thank you so much for choosing Remedy Church this morning. I, I, I hope that the word that God has given me is going to be a blessing for you. Also, of course, it's just great to see everyone. I'm just looking around here and smiling and grinning. I, 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 see, I see my new daughter-in-law. Uh, Wavy, I'm, 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 I'm uh, Caitlin. We call her Wavy. And then when y'all, when you wave at the folks, just, just, just wave this. She's anointed, y'all. She's anointed. She's tongue talker. I mean, she got a word. And, uh, I pray. I look forward to the day that, that that God releases her to say some things. She has a word. Amen. Amen. This is a season of open door. Amen. And uh, open door means a season of purpose. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got to do this right quick, if you don't mind, before we even start. Yes, sir. And keep that music going. I'm not going to be, I, I shouldn't be very long, but keep that going in the back. Um, you know, you got to be conditioned to receive. And that's why we have praise and worship to condition the hearts to receive. Amen. And we just thank God for that. Amen. Amen. But at the same time also, there's sometimes there's some people <laughs> that are so distraught um, that we have to just go ahead and, and allow God to minister to them in the spirit. Amen. Uh, even right now, before we begin to do the uh, regular word. Uh, Brian, if you don't mind, when I tell you to do so, do this. That's Mike sitting next to you, right? Don't look, everybody look at me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you to lay hands on him in just a second. But before you do so, in the name of Jesus right now, Father God, we thank you. Thank you. For Mike. And we thank you for the mics that Mike represent. Others that are out there dealing with issues, pain, and problems. It's overtaken them, Father. We, we, we speak right now. Peace. Touch his head, touch his head. Peace. Go here, go here. Peace. Upon Mike right now. Lord, we thank you, Father God. And right, even right now, as he's receiving the peace that passes all understanding, that's superseding even the problems. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I get that. And also, if you would, yes, sir, Brother Miller, lay your hand on his heart. And we thank you. Thank you, sir. Right there in the center. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For peace. Shoot, Lord, I lift your hands up. Thank you, sir. And for others, Lord God, peace. Peace to those that have had a bad diagnosis. Peace to those that are facing surgery. In the plethora of problems, peace, 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 peace to them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Thank you. And even today, sir, we thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. For the soberness of your spirit today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Can't get in a boat, so uh, pray in the spirit if you can. Just go ahead and just say it all right. Good job in the spirit. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
And even to those, Father God, that's on the line that have lost loved ones this week, that are mourning, that are grieving, Lord, we speak peace. We feel you. You're not alone. It's going to be better. It's going to be better. Yeah. Yes, sir. And Lord, we thank you for your peace. Thank you for the presence of your spirit. Thank you for your grace and your strength in this place. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, if you believe that, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was for me. If you really believe it, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And one more time, just shout hallelujah. Real, 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 real loud. Hallelujah. Okay, now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One more time. Just tell with your eyes closed. With your eyes closed and your ugly face and just shout it. Make the devil mad. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God a hand praise. All right, you take your seat. Keep the music playing. I won't be before you long. The Lord gave me a word this morning. He told me to share this with you. Amen. Amen. Open your Bibles. I'm going to stay in King James. I want to make it as simple as possible. But the Lord told me to tell you a few things this morning. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. And as you know, this is the season of the open door. Amen. The season of the open door. But but also, you got to understand that this open door, yes, sir, this open door is also neither necessary for some to transition out. Yeah, what that mean? There's been some, I, I don't know about y'all, but I don't live with three deaths in the last, I don't know, almost two weeks, ten days or so uh, of people that I knew close, good people, friends, family members that have transitioned. And it caught some off guard, others, of course, were, but it, it left a hurt. Amen. But, but you got to understand something. Even some were anointed in different callings or, or specific callings. Uh, yes, sir. I, I put it like this here. I don't know if you can understand it. Uh, yes, sir. It's kind of like on your job um, and you're seeking promotion. Sometimes that promotion cannot occur because that slot is not vacant. And sometimes what God does is allow things to transition in such a way to where they're put. Now, if you're born again and you die and go, and, and, and go to heaven, that's a promotion. I don't, it don't seem like one, but I guarantee you, if you can talk to those that have transitioned, they would say, no, it's a promotion up here. They're doing much, much, much better than you think. Now, we miss them. Our emotions are, are pain, but, 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 but they, they've, been, they've been promoted. Now, their promotion left a slot. There's a, a slot called a mantle. And, and, and that mantle is the same grace, anointing, abilities, and talents that was on them when they transitioned. It stays here on earth. Yes. Amen. So, 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 so when certain ones shift, when they shift up, they leave something behind. Elisha left something behind. Right. Amen, amen. He left something behind. So, so, so I, I, I want you to know, yes, sir, I, I, and I know, I know it's painful, but certain ones dealing with certain things, but, 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 but you got to look at that. There's another side to it. Amen. There's another side to it. The Lord told me to talk to you this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He told me, he told me, he said, son, tell the people that if you shift your passion, it would change your problem. Ooh, that's good, it's time to shift your passion and it would change your problems. Many people are dealing with undue pain and, and undue hurt more so in the, in, in the mental and in the physical that is that's real, real pain but the pain you are experiencing 
is, is true, is real, but the pain that you are experiencing is not so much mental and physical as it is, it's because of a lack of spiritual. See, some of us have misplaced our faith and misplaced our passions. And we, 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 we made people our priority mm. instead of God. We made chasing entertainment our passion instead of, yeah, we, 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 we made chasing the worldly things to, to, to anesthetize our pains instead of chasing the word and purpose to minister to our spirits. We, 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 our passions have been somewhat misplaced. And the Lord told me to tell you this morning that if you shift your passion, if you, if you get your mind back or get your mind on purpose, it's going to change your problem. Amen. And notice this, and the change will occur not so much on the outside, the change will occur not so much in the person that's no longer there. Not so much in the physical realm. But the change will occur more so in your spirit and it's going to affect your mental. Can I tell you something? You, you, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ain't got no mental problem. Nope. Come on. Look at your neighbor and say, you ain't crazy. You ain't crazy. You need to feed your spirit. See, you... You, you stop reading your Bible like you used to. You know better. Come on. I ain't gonna fuss. I ain't wagging my fingers down here. <laughs> you, 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 you got off. You got off of the priorities that God had you on at first. You, you were seeking purpose for a minute. Right. And sometimes we make the mistake of, of, of praying for a blessing in the form of a person and not a person replaces our passion, our passions, and then now with those of our power. Now, you ain't got no mental problem. No, 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 no. You ain't crazy. You need to get back to feeding your spirit. Come on. Yes, sir. That's good. You need to get back in the word. That's true. That's good. You need to get back to going to church and being in the presence of God. Not just, not just at home with a bonnet, drinking coffee, eating the word. I know. You ain't got to because I, I got to go. So see, 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 see I, I, I got to go too. And when I go, I want to make sure that when I stand before the Lord, he said, well done. Yeah, yeah. Not well. Yeah. <laughs> right. okay. Ask you a few questions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so let me ask you something. If you were going home, call it heaven, tomorrow, let's say 5 o'clock. If you go home tomorrow around 5 o'clock, you're going to see Jesus. You're going to meet the, the one you've been praying to, the one you've been seeing in the spirit, you're going to see him in the flesh. What would you change different today? If you, if you were, if you knew that you was going home this time tomorrow, tomorrow. what would you do different today? Who would you spend time with? Who would you talk to? Who would be priority? Can I ask you one more? Who would you forgive? Who would you release? Who would you say I'm sorry to? The Lord told me to tell you, or to ask you this. He said, son, yes, sir. He said, many are experiencing what they're experiencing and seeking, seeking, I'm talking about God, seeking me for blessings, deliverances, and so on. He said, and, and they're and they mad because they, they feel that, that they feel that I, I've not kept my word and, and I haven't held up my end. They, they mad at me, son. <laughs> uh, they mad at me because they feel like I didn't perform and do what I said I would do. But the Lord told me to pose a question back at you. Have you done the last thing he said? 
He, he, he said the reason why it's been a delay and the reason why you haven't seen what you thought you should have saw, have you done the last thing he told you to do? Somebody say first love. First love. He told me to tell you, it's time to return to your first love. It's time to, it's time to return back to the joy of your son. You remember when you first got saved? It was on fire. Hey, hey. And, and, and could nobody, could nobody tell you nothing. You were so saved. You, you were so saved. And, and you, you remember the big collector call? He said, I don't even care. God got me. Uh, remember the attitude you had when you was all in for Jesus? All in. What happened? Time. The bigger thing is this. What happened was, what was priority at that time has went from first place, passion has went to second place, the things of God have become third. And now, if we even pray a little bit, man, well, like we done done something. The Lord told me, he said, he said, son, he said, son, tell them, he told me this, he said, tell them, get your spiritual life back. Yeah. And that means different things to different ones. I better go on. He said, he said, get your spiritual life back. He said, shift your passion. And it'll change your problem. He told me to tell you, less worldliness to relieve the pain of your problems. He said more word and more prayer and conversations with God regarding your situation. Jeremiah 33 and 3. This is the best man about it yet. Yes, sir. Amen. I, I know y'all be y'all be getting me on Facebook on that. <laughs> y'all know, know what I'm talking about. <laughs> y'all do that. Jeremiah 33 and 3. Now watch this. He told me. He told me to tell you. He said, tell them, call. You got Jer Jeremiah 33 Amen. and verse 3. King James. He said, Call unto me. Yeah. And I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things that thou knowest not. He wants your attention. Because yes, this is the season of the open door. But yes, sir, I thought. This is the season of the open door. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be here for a while. But understand something. Because of our spiritual insensitivity, some of us are trying to go through doors that have not been ordained by God. Wow. <laughs> and you're running into closed doors. Mm -hmm. Come on. Thinking that it's God cutting off, cutting off the, the thing that your prayers and what you desire. But you got to understand something. The open doors that God has for you are associated with your purpose. Yeah. It's time for you to do purpose. It, it, hear me now. It's time for you to seek God for his purpose, on purpose, with a purpose. And when you find a purpose, lock in your passion to that purpose. Good. See what we've been doing is, is saying God I'm going to do this and I want you to bless mm -hmm. We ain't pray We just expect God to show up And we show up right. And then he don't and now we mad mm -hmm. That's good. Lord said, he, he said son tell them to, In this season Of open doors Before you go put them on a knob mm -hmm. Okay <laughs> Before you go knock it 
Ask God, is this your purpose? And don't be so full of your desire and your own personal passion that you pursue without him telling you if it is. Wait three days. A lot of time for your emotions to calm down. So, so it ain't you telling you. And sometimes we we tell us sometimes we we tell ourselves to do things that sound just like God. Mm. I'm trying to put it in a nice way. God told me that was you. That was you. That was you. That was you. Yes, sir. He said. He, he, he says, tell them, tell them to seek my purpose for their lives. He said, and in doing so, as you seek God's purpose, then you will experience protection, provision, peace, and he will preserve you. Are, are you willing? That thing that you're so passionate about, are you willing to put it before the Lord? And, and there's a prayer that I, I learned a long time ago that I do on a personal level. I, I, I get that. I got a prayer that I do. Y'all heard me talk about it. Uh, that if, if it's not you, Lord, prayer. I heard that one when I say that one. That, that, that's the one when I like that. Yes, I want that. That's, mm, that's me. Yeah. But Lord, if you don't want me to have it, I don't want it either. Let's practice that prayer. Say, Lord, Lord, in this season, in this season if you don't want it for me, for me, I don't want it either. I don't want it either. And, and, and you got to be to the point to where you not getting that ain't going to affect your relationship with God. Because what God is doing in this season is, is allowing a relationship to be tested. Yeah. Right. You, you think you've been going through trials and tribulations. I hear you, and you have. But now it's been a trust test. You know, it's just been a trust test. It, it, it's a trust test to see if you trust him. And it's a trust test to see if he can trust you. See, he won't open the door too. But he won't know can he open the door and still have you. He won't know can if you open the door and you still going to serve him. Can he still count on you? Can you still have to focus out at the church? Or did you give what you want and miss what you had? Mm. I remember y'all. I remember a lady in Houston. I got. I got. I got to pay homage. A lady in Houston, Texas. I'm trying to remember her name, but she preached a message called "You got what you want, but you miss what you had." Mm. And she came from the premise of the premise of you fasted, you prayed, you sought God for that house, that thing, that man, that woman. That whatever that whatever it was, and then God gave it to you. And, and when you, but while you was chasing God for that, you got anointed. It's something about how you get anointed when you get close. And, and you was hearing God and walking with God, tithing, serving, just woo, on fire for God because you was trusting God to make that. And, and then then God went ahead, being God, gave you what you asked for. And then God, over time, didn't see you no more. Mm. Now you got the thing, but you ain't got no anointing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got stuff, but now you ain't no longer spiritual. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You got the things, but now the things got you. Preacher, preacher. What happened? Now you got what you want, but now you're missing what you had. God saying, come back. Somebody say, come back. Yeah, yeah I better call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jeremiah 33 and 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things that thou knowest. Now, why are you in a position where you got to hear this message? Is this your time? Can I be frank with you? It's your time and the thing that you have been purposed to do in the earth is now needed and necessary more than ever before. 
God needs the anointing and the investment that he placed in you to come forth at this time. Yes, sir. I ask the question, if you knew, if you knew that you were going to see God tomorrow and you knew God's purpose today, what would you do? You ain't got to ask. Whatever God told you to do, you'd be in. If it's in Memphis, you'd be moving to Memphis. Mm. So let me get out. Tell the folk to sing your stuff. <laughs> Job, chapter 22. I know it's a sobering message. And Lord knows I had some mess plan. My wife would tell you, we. We studied something different last night. But the Lord woke me up this morning. He said, shift. I said, yes, sir. And if you know me, I'm old man. Now, I love y'all. And you know, I know I ain't the most popular preacher. But them demons know who I am. They're part. They're part. So the angels got my back. There's, there's another level of confidence that comes from a covenant. Come on. Come on. You're walking with God. Yeah. It's different. Maybe if you sell out. Joe. Joe. Chapter 22. Sell out at the house. Ain't come to church wise. Ain't come out in front of folk. Come on. Ain't come to that big old country Bible you got on your dad's <laughs> 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 you know. Come on, them. Ain't coming all them pictures of the, the last supper that you got in your house right next to Martin Luther King and John F. Kennedy. <laughs> 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 ain't coming that big old cross you always wear. <laughs> Ain't talking about the yeah. empty tithe envelopes that you can come, come around here giving to the church. Oh, yeah, ain't supposed to know about that. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh
get out there in front of the car and just shout and kick up rocks and <laughs> thinking about the goodness of God. Didn't care who was looking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Didn't care. Because God was priority. He was number one. Two, three, four, five, two. Yeah, yeah. Didn't care about the folks. Just want to obey. Lord, you've been so good to that. And I, yeah, I know my testimony. I, I got to say, see, nobody told me about being born again and having a new spirit. Folks used to invite me to church, but nobody told me I could get a new spirit. Nobody told me I could be set free from yeah. drugs and all that. They just told me to come my to Lord, church. Yeah. October 18, 1984. And by the way, that's my spiritual birthday. I'll be, how, 40 years old in Christ? Something like that. <laughs> October 18, 1984. I got born again and, and waiting. I got saved. Didn't want no weed no more. Mm -hmm. Ain't had no drink. <laughs> got the feeling just, what in the world? I ain't got, I got a joy on me that I never had before. Yeah, I said, nobody yeah. told me about this. They told me to come to church, but they didn't, they didn't tell me that it had set me free. I said, God, you good. And I, and, I, and I found myself since then saying, who wouldn't serve a God like this? Come on. Now, now, I feel that. Now watch this. If you don't smoke some weed, repent. Don't lose y'all. Don't lose you. You've been drinking, that's uh, okay, don't worry about that, just repent. Amen. Amen. He loves you. That, that ain't changing, okay? That ain't changing his love for you. Right. Amen. Can I tell you something? The more you lean toward purpose, come on. Yeah. The more the mother desires will follow. Yeah, 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 yeah. The more you lean in towards your real identity yeah, 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 and who yeah, God yeah. really made you to, the more you get, the more you get more, the more you get passionate about your purpose. It'll change your spiritual appetite. Yeah, that's it. And your hunger for the things of the world will wane. And your appetite will be for him. You'll find yourself not eating and you ain't even fast. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good talk. Yeah. That's what it said. I like I'm gonna kind of just get reacquainted. Yeah. With God. Yes, sir. And I don't know why. I just feel like everybody now already saved. I, I just really I was saved for way back. Yeah, I, I figured that because I don't feel that to nobody, everybody out there. Y'all look safe. Y'all <laughs> look safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen. Just reacquaint. Amen. So, so, get reacquainted. Right. Today. Now. Just, it's, it's been easy. Just go back to doing what you did. Amen. Reacquaint now about self with him. Now watch this. And, and his God, God's so cool. The moment you set your mind to be reacquainted with God, he treats you like you never missed a step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Reacquaint now that self with him. And, and watch this. In fact, yes, sir. Uh, right now, lift your hands. Say, Lord. Lord. Right now. Right now. I reacquaint. I reacquaint. I reconnect, I reconnect myself, myself with you. With you. Hey, hey. And some of y'all, some of y'all got your hands down, but now you got peace on your face. Mm -hmm. What just happened? And be at peace. That's how quick you do it. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Verse 22. Look what he says. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart. What he's talking about? Get back to the Bible. Worship has its place. The word is, the music is great, but get back, find you a scripture. Get back to getting a rhema word. Verse 23. If thou return to the Almighty, that shall be built up, and that shall put iniquity far from thy tabernacle. What that mean? Those little casual sins, the little nasty habits. He ain't condemning you. He loves you. He saw you when you did what you did, and when you do what you do. 
but he still loves you and wanted to use you. That's why you ain't dead. Amen. That's why your picture's not in the obituary. Amen. That's why the last funeral you went to, you you was visiting. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You wasn't Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying he's going to take you out of you, but what I'm saying is dangerous. It's dangerous. Live for God. Look at your neighbor say, live for God. Live for God. When you live for God, I'm, I'm, I'm a, we're going to pray for somebody in a minute. When you live for God, he'll preserve you. Yes, he will. You can pass through some, some rough stuff. And, 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 hey, and be at fault. And you did it. And you deserve it. You started the fight. Yeah. You know that. Should be in jail. Told the attorney, I don't matter. I ain't got no defense. Yeah. I really don't. I'd be lying if I said I did. Yeah, I, I, I did it and I waited for the police. Yeah, uh, that, that was me. Hey, Amen, Pastor. Amen. That was me. But because you have purpose, God preserved you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He didn't let you get what you deserve. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He said, if thou return unto the Almighty, it builds you up. See, 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 like I said earlier, you don't have no mental problem. You got a spiritual deficiency. Come on, talk to him. Amen. Talk to him. You need to get back praying in the spirit. Yes. You remember that? You remember back when they, when, 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 you, remember, you, remember, you remember back when, 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 when you got that the eviction letter? They going to put your stuff out? And guess what? You prayed in the spirit. You found yourself laughing when you should have been crying. Didn't know how God was going to do it, but he did it. You prayed in the spirit. Build back up. He just said build back up. He said, put iniquity far away. Repent. How you do that? Just repent. What repent me? Stop doing it. And don't worry, he helped you stop. You just got to be sincere. Yeah, that's right. Verse 24. He ain't, holding up, he ain't trying to hold up against you. He up there bragging on you. Mm -hmm. Verse 24. Watch this. Here's the reward part. He said, Then thou shalt lay up gold as dust, and the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brooks. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense. In other words, now you're his responsibility. And thou shalt have plenty of silver. In other words, hey, you become God's responsibility. When you yield your life to purpose according to God's will for your life, now every problem becomes God's responsibility. We'll talk about that next week. Now God is responsible for the outcome. Now, now you still got to do whatever he says, but sometimes he'll, tell you, sometimes he'll tell you to do nothing. He said, Yea, the Almighty should be thy defense. Thou shalt have plenty of silver. Verse 26. For then thou shalt delight in the Almighty. That's your appetite change. He said, I will pray, Pastor, but I don't feel it. You start praying, you'll feel it. Yes. Mm -hmm. The appetite will come back. That hunger for him will come back. You got to do it from the heart, not from the head. You got to go. And shall lift up thy face to God. Look at verse 27. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him and he shall hear thee and thou will pay thy vows. In other words, get back tired. Get back to giving. You've been tired. Your mom, you, you've been tired in all these years. If you get back to giving, get back to sowing. Yes, sir. Verse 28, thou should also decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee. And that light shall shine upon thy ways. In other words, now you get back your authority. What that means. Now you get back to speaking and things changing. Yes, sir. You get back in the position. That now, you never lost your authority. But because of improper alignment with your personal assignment, the authority wasn't strong. It was diluted. Because you wasn't in direct alignment with your assignment. But as you lock in on purpose and line up with what God has called you to do, 
and now understand something purpose meaning that God has already dictated already foreordained and predestinated certain things for your life he's already got laid out you, you, hey you, you, you don't make a destiny you discover it and when you get in alignment with his word and his spirit now what you have done is accepted your assignment and because God has already according to your destiny already predetermined predestined already already prepared everything for your life yes sir yes sir uh, I'm thinking of second uh, Peter chapter 3 says God has already given me everything I need for this life but I get it when I lock in on purpose I'm in alignment with him and because I'm in alignment with him now when I speak the angels shift. Now when I lay hands, we're going to lay hands in just a minute. Now when I lay hands, God has to move. No, I'm not looking for signs. Yeah, I'm looking about to fall out. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I'm not. I'm talking about laying hands and walking away. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, some of y'all have been resting. And the fact that you're resting means you don't, you don't you know you got a door. I remember I saw a water bug at my house. Mm. Roach. I said, Roach. He big, he how he big, man. That's a water bug. <laughs> I went and got some rain. That's that's all right. <laughs> I got this mustard. <laughs> and I walked up and said, shh. Now he, you know, they kind of strong. <laughs> <laughs> like them demons you dealing with, they. All right, now, all right, watch out. Hey, big right. old man. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you don't get big, big being young. You've <laughs> 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 been around for a while. My God, my God, so my I sprayed, God. I sprayed them, I sprayed them. And, and y'all know how I look. I know y'all don't know. Y'all know how I look. Yeah. When you spray them long, that stuff, the spray go from, from wet to white. That big rascal. That's what he he started going slow. And when I saw him going slow, I stopped spraying. Took the can and walked back to the kitchen. You know why? It's done. No, no, he was still moving. But because of the authority of that ring. I said, and I've seen it work before. Right. My God. My God. My mama used ring. My God. Come on, come on, come on. Grandma used hot shot. Anyhow. Okay, okay. Y'all give me all. I just play. Because of the authority, I knew it'll work. Yes, sir. And this is what God is trying to where now you're not freaking out based on what you see. You're not having mental issues based on what you feel. You're not second guessing what God is doing and, and, and then you're not depressed because it don't look right. You have adopted the mindset that no, I'm acquainted with God. I'm doing what God says. I would like this thing to happen. I trust that God has this for his plan for my life. If he does, hallelujah. But if he don't, I'm good too. Because yeah. I know if this ain't it, he got something better. That's it, that's it. Oh, and by the way, devil, any sickness or disease has to leave my body. In the name of Jesus. And I got a covenant with God. Not just leave my body, because God preserves me. Not, not sickness and disease has to leave my body. Not just leave my body. But Lord, I thank you for renewing my youth like an eagle. Come on. Make me look like I'm 16 when I'm 61. Make me feel like a young man. That's it. And you, you see veins again in your arm. Amen. I know y'all know about that. You guys tell me. Go ahead. Come on. Yeah. Ready to shift your passion? Are you ready to shift your passion? Yes, sir. Stand to your feet. Come on. Keep the music on.